Hi everybody. We are in the kitchen. I did have a really nice frying pan. I don't know how this phone is going to record my voice. It's probably going to sound like shit. I had a lovely deep frying pan, which I have subsequently left at a house somewhere that I don't live in anymore. But I have bought a cheapy wok from Ikea. It's like eight quid, I think it was. We have some meat, cheap meat. There's quite high fat content, but it doesn't really matter because we'll pour most of it out anyway. Three pounds for 750 grams. Oh yes. Some hit dig, hit dig. Some lardons. Oh baby, gives me the lardon. That bacon bits for those uh, who don't care. We got uh, some, uh, what do you call it? Stock thing. Um, I have some crushed chilies. They are little chili flakes and a little bit of spice and some mixed herbies. There's a carrot here. Normally I'll put some um, beans in as well. If you think you can hear a chicken, uh, bananas aren't going in it by the way. If you can hear a chicken, it's the fridge. It makes it sound like a chicken, it's really bizarre. Um, and there'll be some frozen peas, frozen sweet corn um, and stuff like that. Sometimes I put some, uh, what do you call it, garlic in there as well. Uh, but I don't have any. Um, I don't put onion in, which you can do, but I don't because I'm allergic to onion, so I don't. So first thing we do is heat up the pan and then we will fry up the meaty meats. So first off, pan's getting nice and hot. Well, we do this one handed, so it's gonna be fun. Now, you can obviously put some oil in the bottom of the pan first if you like. Uh, I don't really bother. Lots of fat coming off of this. Um, there's going to be lots of fat in general, really. But now, see, I like to pull out bits like that that are just pretty much all fat or American bacon, as we call it. Um, here's, here's another bit because, let's say, it's going to be quite fatty anyway. Um, and these are not the only lardons in the kitchen. You know what I mean. So there we go. It's, uh, well, yeah. So these lardons are just, I mean, this is all Tesco stuff, but it's just basic Tesco stuff. I think they're 130, something like that. Not very expensive, really. Now we just fry that up, make sure it's nice and cooked. Oh, it smells so good. If you are Jewish or Muslim or vegetarian, then I, I, I'm deeply sorry because bacon is one of the world's great pleasures. Um, obviously, I'm not sorry that you're Jewish or Muslim or vegetarian. Well, I'm sorry if you're vegetarian, uh, but. Uh, I, I am sorry you cannot indulge in one of the world's greatest pleasures. All right, there you go. He's a little fatty. Woo! Walk sliding around. That is like hover walk. That's crazy. So we've got our saucy stuff now. Saucy stuff. Um, watch out for the old. There's not a lot of blood nappy here. There's sorry, this I'm trying to talk it out off the camera around. There we go. There's like a bit of paper underneath, which is really annoying. Ah, this is impossible to do one handed. Hang on. Throw that in there. Yum, yum, yum. Just chuck it all in. Mash it up. Again, quite difficult to do one-handed. Um, I tend to do half at a time. Um, Learn about this time, it's a good idea to stick the kettle on. 
if you're not making a cup of tea. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fry this up, you know pretty much how it works. We just, we just brown, woo! I'm getting some tennis. We're just browning it off. Okay, so there you go. The meat is kind of browned. Um, it's a little, little overdone to be honest, but I was busy doing something else. Now, what we need to do is, as you can see, there's quite a lot of fat. We need to get rid of that. Now, you don't want to pour it down the sink. That's number one rule because it will just congeal in the pipes and you'll end up with a, a fatty plug. Dum, dum, dum. Well, what I have done, let's try and move that out of the way. I don't think I can do this one handed. But I put the meat tray in, and it's cold water, it's sitting in the bath of cold water. And then I pour it into that. I can't do that one handed, so you will have to hang on while I do it. Okay, there you are. I've uh, <laughs> tried to drop my phone in the You see these bits of orange, uh, orange peelings. We'll come back to that in a second. Not orange peel, but with the carrots. Um, but the reason that's sitting in the cold water is. Um, obviously that's super hot fat um, and it can melt the plastic uh, but it just helps it dry quicker you see it's, it's kind of congealing already so we'll just leave that doing its thing back over here boop, boop, boop. right carrots I have peeled carrots as you saw um, and what I like to do is just shred carrot into the thing now again this is gonna be quite hard to do one-handed but you get the idea just to, and you get thin strips like that and that goes in because basically I don't really like carrot that much but we need veg veggies are good so stock uh, now I'm allergic to one of the second dish mate then you can't be an to you to uh, you can and I am and I don't care what anybody thinks. Oh, see, I can't even open this one handed. Look, and you're supposed to mix this in a cup first. Um, so, as I say, because I'm going to have to be quite specific as to which um, things I buy. And, uh, this one doesn't have any in. Sorry, I'm trying to hold this and do this. I can't do this one handed. I'm waiting lots of gas while I do it because I thought I'd be a lot quicker than this. Get on, get in. Uh, there we go. We're supposed to mix that in a cup first, but uh, fuck the police. Just do that. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Careful, boiling water. It's supposed to kind of dissolve as the jelly like, but it's not really doing it. There you go. We'll crap ton of water in there. That's good. See, the more water you put in, the longer it's going to take to boil down. Let's give it a good stir. And you can see that's pretty much broken down already, which is good. Right. So I'm going to add the carroty bits and we'll be right back. Okay, there's the carrot. Here are some hot dogs. Now, Three, I think, is probably as many as you want. Um, I usually do two, but I decided to go crazy and get three. Just cut them up. Um, I tell you, that's a bit fat, to be honest. You probably want them more thin like that. Chuck them in. There you go. Uh, here's the chili flakes. Again, you can kind of do this to your own taste. I don't put a great deal. In. I just like a little bit of a kick. Um, and give it a stir. There we go, it's all boiling. This is so slidey, it's crazy. So do that, that spoon's getting quite hot. Mixed herbs, throw them in. I quite like a lot of these, so la 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 la. Now, don't really need any salt. I'm not a big fan of salt. Um, the hot dogs have got salt in them. The stock's got salt in it. Uh, st if you're not putting stock in, if you're if you're going without that, then yeah, you want to put some salt in. Um, what you can do is a little dash of vinegar. I don't want to be able to open this one. Fuck, handed. No. Um, but yeah, just more vinegar. Crapping hell. 
Um, there's a little splash of that. Uh, we need some more veg. That's what we need. So let's dig the way down. It's a bum. Oh, look, he's coming. Let's get some peas. You can just go all oh, smoking. Look at that. Uh, that's a sweet corn. Uh, pour it in. As I say, you, know, you can put anything you like in. I'm doing this one-handed, so it's tricky. I normally put beans in, but I forgot to buy them. Actually, no, I didn't forget to buy them. I, I couldn't find any in the shop. Uh, and here's... Why has this got that funny Velcro stuff? No, it hasn't. Um, pour in the peas. I like peas. Oh, good for you. Um, and you can vary this to your heart's content. Oh, there's one thing we are missing, uh, which I completely forgot about. Um, it's not the end of the world if we don't have it, but. Uh, God damn, this is just. Super slightly pan. I'm really annoyed about that. Mix it up, stir it up. Um, have I got some? This is the question. I thought I did. Yes, I do. Italian passata. Now, I found this extremely difficult to find in America. Um, it's sieved tomatoes. Ah, which I'm opening one handed again. Um, I could find. Yeah, you know, mashed up tomatoes, uh, crushed tomatoes. Get me a little. I swear to God, if I ever meet that Tetra Pak guy, I'm gonna punch him in the nose. God, imagine that actually. Well, it's like to have one hand. It must be a nightmare. Right. Sorry, we're staring. I think. Let's fold that down. This one does at least have a perforated top bit. Which makes it a little easier. Can we, can we do it? That makes it a little easier. It doesn't make it that much right. I'm going to make a mess. Be right back. It's amazing what you can do with an extra hand. We have an open packet. And let's just pour that in. Blah. Tomatoes, good for you. I'm not a big fan of tomatoes. Um, fresh tomatoes, I think, are the foulest thing in the world, and they always spoil sandwiches. Uh, but there you go. That is pretty much it. As I say, you can vary it. You can put lots of different veg in. You know, you can put. Uh, I usually put beans. Whatever I put in, I tend to chop it up quite small because I'm a big girly woof woof when it comes to veg in general. I know I need to eat it. I just don't particularly like it. Uh, so that's what I do. And then we just sit it, let it simmer for bloody ages. Uh, that is going to take a while, which is good because we've got a lot of mess to clear up. Um, so we will do that while it sits. Blub, blub, blub. Okay, this is what it looks like after it's been simmering for 10 minutes ago or so. The kettle is on in the background, which is probably what. That's probably the only thing you can hear. Um, you see, it's starting to dry up. That's pretty good texture. I should have actually set the kettle on earlier because we need to make some spaghetti. Now, um, oh, over here. This has solidified. Which is good because we can now throw that away without completely destroying our sink and I'm looking for damn housemate keeps hiding all the stuff. Back over here. Spaghetti. Now I quite like that whole wheat stuff. But that's just me. The beauty of this is um, there's obviously a crap ton of it. And what we can do is then spoon that out 
into bags. Like so, there's some I've made earlier. And what's that? That might be it as well. No, that might be my stew I made. Um, and then you can bung that in the microwave. I put it in for two minutes. Then I break it up, give it a stir, put it in for another two minutes, give it another stir, then see what it is, depending on the size of it. It might need another 30 seconds or a minute. So around four to five minutes in the microwave, and that was sorted out. Um, but I need to actually wash up a pan because I used it at lunchtime. Uh, and we'll cook some spaghetti and we'll uh, show you the finished product. Now, you don't have to have it with spaghetti. It is, it is a sort of, I call it my bolognese thing. Um, but it's, it's pretty versatile. I mean, you can have it with chips. Um, you can stick it in a sandwich. You, know, you can have it with, uh, stick it on some salad, I don't care. Uh, it will go with pretty much anything because it's meat and veg, you know. Um, oh, it goes good on a baked potato as well. That's quite nice. Uh, but uh, yeah, we'll be right back. Okay, for some reason my camera is now on expert mode and I have no idea what that means other than it's got a little tilting line. It's just fun when I do that. Um, so, I always find spaghetti is kind of like finding the right temperature on the shower. There's that little tiny balance point where it boils but it's not boiling over you see it's boiling over now we'll turn it down slightly it kind of dies off that's, that's, that's almost about right but this is at totally the right consistency now there's a little bit of juice at the bottom you can see it's a little juicy but uh, oh, look at that this thing is so slidey on this Somewhat crappy grilled beef there. Uh, hob, uh, um, so that's that's ideally how you want it. So I'm not cooking this anymore. It's just literally on a let's, let's keep it warm, kind of low setting. Because uh, you want a you want a bit of moisture in it, a bit of juice, but you don't want it dribbling everywhere. Uh, but yeah, anyway, I just thought I'd show you that, and then we'll be back in a minute. See that it's almost dead now. Come on. Add a little bit more warmth. Start to boil again. Annoying as hell. Anyway. Okay, there we go. That is the final outcome. Let's grab a fork. A little bit of mozzarella on the top. Just sort of spoon it in. Yum, yum, yum. And just, wow. Uh, you don't really need to be told how to eat food. There seems to be quite a lot of spaggy there. You can see there's not a big dent on that. Just bring some more in. That'll be more than plenty. Um, and we'll leave this to cool down. Eat, eat our dinner. Come back in a couple of hours. And then spoon that into sandwich bags. I reckon we'll get... Probably another four bags out of that. Stick that in the freezer. And then, as I say, anytime, come back five minutes in the microwave, cook some more spaghetti, cook a baked potato, whatever, throw that on it. Jolly good meal. Piss cheap. Um, let's say that meat was three quid. Um, you can go for the steak, 5% fat if you want, but it doesn't really make much difference. Um, she's a little fatty. It's fine. Uh, hot dogs are a pound. You don't need those. They're just an added little bonus for me because I like them. Um, the large ones were 180, 150, something like that. Um, and then carrot, 20p. A couple of quid for, say, three quid for the bag of sweet corn and peas, but that lasts forever. Um, so it's probably a fiver. Yeah, I think it's a one pound or so for the herbs. Um, same again for the chilies. Again, they last forever. Spaghetti and pound, you know, it's nothing. It's nothing. So that's four meals for a fiver, you know. Can't go wrong. Anyway, that was fun. 
Um, I don't do a great deal of cooking, so don't expect a series out of this. Should you even want one, which I doubt, but uh, nom 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 nom. For now, I'm going to eat this because I'm freaking starving. Mm, nom 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 nom. Mm, mm. I'm going to drop a lot of that on the floor. Mmm. Mmm, drop that so good. Let's get a glass and have a drink. Ah, oh, it's so good. And when you get, um, when you get a bit of hot dog, it's just like an extra salty burst. It's like, wow, it's, it's good. Anyway, thanks for that, guys. I'll see you soon.